This is Mike Haber. Thank you for asking me, why isn't my plea bargain a better deal? In theory, plea bargains are going to include accommodations from both sides. The prosecutor will give a little, and the defendant will have to give a little. Each is going to move and meet somewhere towards the middle, in between a best and worst case scenario for either side. But this doesn't necessarily hold true. Why? Because some cases are much stronger for one side or the other. And as we lawyers say, the relative strengths and weaknesses of a given case are going to usually dictate the terms and conditions of a given plea offer. This means that in some cases, one side or the other is going to have the upper hand. For example, the state may have DNA evidence or a crystal clear video which pretty much nails down the defendant's coffin. Or on the other hand, the state may be unable to locate a material witness, or evidence may have been lost or misplaced, or the defendant may have a very solid affirmative defense, such as stand your ground or an alibi. Variables like these can and will affect the nature of a plea offer. Considerations particular to the defendant will also significantly affect a prosecutor's plea deal. For instance, if you have a prior criminal history, or if you were on probation at the time of the offense, or if you happen to have just been recently released from prison or jail, things like this are going to certainly factor into a prosecutor's mindset when they factor and offer a plea. There are external things, such as public policy, that also come into play. For instance, just because of the nature of your offense, like a domestic violence case, it may tend to be more aggressively prosecuted, not easily pled out. Why? Because no prosecutor wants to be called out on a case when a defendant that they cut loose winds up committing a subsequent act of domestic violence, seriously injuring or even killing a prior DV victim. The bottom line is that each case, each prosecutor, and each defendant are unique. And so in theory, each plea bargain, too, should be tailored to each particular case. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, please subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.